We invested very considerable amount uh, of time and effort into this problem over the last uh, several months. We've looked at all the other alternatives, thermal imaging, uh, ultrasonic, we've x-ray, but we believe that this is far and away the most efficient system uh, and that's why we're going with it. We looked at ultrasonic, we looked at x-ray and we also looked at thermal imaging. Thermal imaging only works when the motor is in use or has just been used and therefore is still warm. That makes pre and post race checks ineffective. So for instance, in the case we discovered in cyclocross, we wouldn't have been able to find the motor by thermal imaging as the motor was not running when the check was made. Thermal imaging will also pick up heat from other sources, including the rider's body, heat generated from friction in bearings, and the heat from warm tyres. Finally, to have any chance of success, it would require a vehicle to ride alongside the peloton, which is a complicated environment where the safety of riders must prevail. By undertaking a large number of trials, we found that magnetic resistance was by far the most consistent, the most reliable, and the most cost-effective method of regularly deploying tests in all of the environments in which we need to operate. 100%. The trials of this method showed it highly effective in detecting hidden motors or any components that could contribute to powered assistance. The scanner creates a strictic magnetic field and the tablet then detects any interruptions in this magnetic field which can come from a motor, a magnet, any other solid items such as a battery which could be concealed in a frame. The scanner has proved to be flexible, reliable and high effective tool which enables large volume of bikes to be tested in short periods. Now that we have this method of detection deployed widely, you would have to be mad to try and cheat in this way. Testing is backed up by very severe sanctions now. New rules have been brought in over the last year and uh, the fines are very, very substantial and the suspensions are up to life, both for an individual rider and for the team. We've caught one rider and we know that the technology is out there. Our job is to ensure that nobody tries to cheat in this way in the future. And I think with technology that we have now is going to enable us to do that very effectively.